what, what kind of preparation did you did you have for that? Not much really considering. I mean, not action stuff. It was more like armor training. Yeah. Lots of, I've never had a gun before, so that was a big thing. You had to learn how to shoot oh. the guns. You yeah. had to learn how to do like these guys. kind of drop and roll kind of moves and things with the guns and reloading. And things so like much that. fun. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it, like doing such an action role. Yeah. But it was just fun. Yeah, you look, you look comfortable with an AK-47 now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Just uh, had it for about five minutes, and I was like, it's like to. riding a bike. Once you've done it once, you can just keep doing it. So now, now the reckoning was 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 a virtual fright fest. Yeah. Now, not only are you will premiering, but you're also the film opening the festival. How how exciting is that for you? It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's exactly what we wanted. You know, we were making the film, it was like yeah. making it with the Fright Fest audience in mind. Yeah. And that, not only that, you know, the boys liked it, but they wanted it to open the festival. It was like, oh, it's just so perfect. And I say, I haven't been back for like nearly 10 years, and it's Charlotte's first Fright Fest. Um, so it's just a perfect experience. Now, Charlotte, you, you, you wrote this with Neil. Now, on my reckoning, in the first 20 minutes, Minutes, you get dropped out of a plane, you're in a gunfight, you're crawling through shit, and there's, there's creatures after you. Could you not have any influence to make it a bit easier for yourself? Do you know what? Like, when I'm writing it, I'm not thinking of how I'm going to act it. It's just literally me as a writer. And then when I get to it, I'm like, shit, this is what I've got to do now. Like, I take my writer hat off, then I look at my acting side thinking, how am I going to do this? But no, I loved it. I, but I didn't really think about that actually when I was writing it, to be honest. No, you kind of don't. I mean, no. you, know, you, you end up writing yourself situations that you're on set going, why did I write this? Yeah. You know, this we is just made it easier. Myself. And then, you know, when, when she's got to crawl through a, a sewer full of shit or whatever, it's kind of like, oh, we've only got, you, you've only got yourself to blame, you know. <laughs> so what... What are you looking forward to most seeing with the Fright Fest audience? Obviously, you're gonna you're gonna see it with the people who you you think you've made it for. So, what, what what from your from your action are you looking forward to seeing? I'm nervous because I, I want them. It's high expectations, and I want them to enjoy it. Like that's the bottom line. I just want them to come out and be scared as hell. Scared, and they come out of it like they just come out on a roller coaster. They jump, so scream, and have a laugh. And yeah, that's reward. That's the ultimate reward. I mean, I, the, look at look at it. It's a bit of a return to like. You know the all-action sort of predator-esque banter and the the creepy crawlies of like the, of the descent. You know what was what was behind the idea? It was all of that. It was uh, it was like going back to my roots of doing an action horror movie. That definitely has like some kinship with Dog Soldiers, a little bit of kinship with the descent, but then also things like Predator and all the like, aliens and all these other movies that I love so much. But also like war movies as well, and sort of tying in stuff like that. So it's just like it's just like a little shopping list of all my favourite stuff, and I kind of put it into a movie. Now, now there's lots of nice one-liners in the film, and the one question I wanted to ask is, how close was that first attack to a Saturday night out in Cardiff? <laughs> I've never been to Cardiff, and so... I've not had a, I've not had a Friday night out in Cardiff, but I'm guessing it would be a right laugh. So, uh, yeah. I could have said Newcastle, but the character's was, so it had to be good. And it's interesting, when we wrote this, we wrote it during COVID, during lockdown. So we're like, what can we do? A horror movie contained, not too many actors, COVID-friendly. And then we made this. It's like it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. How it evolved. Got more ambitious. Sure. Yeah, very ambitious. Yeah. And, and, and shooting again in Hungary, yeah. which is not, not the most obvious place to shoot Afghanistan, but it worked. You know, yeah. We yeah. made it work through clever trickery and you know, choice of locations, but also a bit of VFX magic, obviously. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, it, it, you can't. It, it, you fooled me, as it were, watching it. You know, I didn't. Pretty, it was very hot and sunny out there during the summer. It was like 40 degree heat and stuff like that. So we got that. We got that authentic and the dust and all that stuff. But then we just had to extend some of the landscapes a bit. But yeah, we made it work. And and, and the, finally, the creatures. What 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 were the what were the early designs of that? Where how did they come to be? And as it were, where were you thinking? Um, I was trying to, I can't remember what it's called now, but there's a, a name for this thing where you uh, fear of certain textures that have lots of holes in them. Um, it was like ochrophobia or something like that, but it's a phobia. And I wanted to have the creatures have some element of that in them that just makes them really kind of icky. Like just looking at them is kind of icky. So, yeah. 
And one last one for you. And tools and everything else that I have going for them. I was going to say, one last question for you, Charlotte. You get a tongue lashing more than once. I get what, sorry? A tongue lashing from these creatures. <laughs> how, how did that work? Is it, is it, well, what, what were you, what you well, it was actually great fun because it was all practical. So was, I didn't have to pretend the you know, special effects afterwards. It was all practical. So it was yeah, so much fun. Very, very long, slimy pink yeah. things that were going to wrap yeah. around their heads. Yeah. And then obviously the stunt guys in the suits were amazing. It was so good. <laughs> Uh, fun. Well, look, thank you very much for giving us your time on Fright Fest TV. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the premiere. Cheers. Excited for you.